it me. Welcome to episode 108 of The Willow Show, which stands for Wrestling is Life. Life is Wrestling. Now today, I wanted to do my 10 favorite wrestling books. I mean, there's so many good ones out there. It was hard to cut it down to 10. And uh, I'm not going to do it in any particular order. It's just my 10 favorite ones. These are the ones that I've read more than once. And uh, that must tell you how good they are. Because once I read something, I usually remember it. So if I was to read it again, I must have really enjoyed it. So let's go through. I really enjoyed, the first one that I really enjoyed was uh, Gold Dust, uh, Dustin Runnels' book. I felt that was very well done, like dealing with his addiction and stuff, but also like with his family legacy and starting in the business so young. I just, I found a lot of great stories in that. And um, this is probably the only one by a non wrestler that I liked was Eric Bischoff, Controversy Creates Cash. I really enjoyed that book and I found myself... Uh, Starting to like Eric Bischoff by reading his book, I mean, you got to admire the man's work ethic and uh, persistence, and he had some really great ideas, and he did contribute to changing wrestling in a lot of good ways. Uh, so I really enjoyed Controversy Creates Cash. The next one would be Yes, 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 the Daniel Bryan story. Um, that's one of the more current ones. I usually like the older ones, but um, I mean, it was just such a great read with him going to the Shawn Michaels school and uh, with uh, what's his name uh, Kendrick and stuff like that and being so small and then doing all the indie stuff uh, I really enjoyed that one so that's the third one uh, the fourth one would be uh, Canyon's book I really enjoyed that I mean not to mention the wrestling and just his take on everything like that but he was always one of my favorite wrestlers back in like 1998 and um, 99 around that era too and then uh the whole gay thing really interests me about like trying to hide it from people for so long. I mean, it was a different era there. Now, um, it sucks that he, he would got so depressed because if it was this era now, he would be more openly accepted. It's just a different society now, but it was a really good read if you could find the Canyon book. Um, the fifth one was Jerry Lawler. Like I really enjoyed all the Memphis stuff and how he just started doing like the radio thing and it just there was a lot of stuff I didn't know I thought I knew a lot of it like I knew obviously the Andy Kaufman thing and all that other stuff and the WWF stuff but I didn't know a lot about the Memphis stuff that I thought I did and it was a really good read uh the sixth book that I really enjoyed was uh by Ben Nelson Creed you're gonna hurt yourself now this one personally I mean he isn't as big as a name as the other people but one it talked a lot about BC where I grew up and I know uh, a bunch of those BC wrestlers and then it also talked about a bunch of people I know like the whole Ike Shaw thing and the Romeo Adams thing and like the the barnyard drinking game thing I already knew some of that so it just felt so more personal to me like I felt like I was like a part of the story like maybe I was just an extra stand-in even though I just missed he he was before me in that school and everything like that but what a great book uh, the next one would be the Bret Hart book really love this one this was really long and i felt he was so honest and he like didn't just try and say everything positive about himself he he put the good and the bad in there and i felt he went into great detail and it was it seemed way longer than the other ones and i even uh like two years ago i went back and redid my grade 12 to try and get a better mark and uh, they let us do a report on any famous canadian so i picked bret hart and i read his book and did a bunch of research so it was uh, different looking at the book from that perspective of like trying to take quotes and stuff like that but uh, I enjoyed it just as much the second time uh, the next one uh, was a bit of a surprise I didn't know how much I would like it going in but the Bob Hawley book the hardcore truth or whatever it was I, I really enjoyed that book I mean he was with the WWE for so long since like 1995 he almost had 20 years in the company and he's seen it all come and go. And it was just really great to hear his uh, take on different things. Like some of the big things that happened. Like the steroids and the Montreal screw job And uh, breaking his neck from Brock, Brock Lesnar. And like the, the brawl for all. And those kind of things. I, I really enjoyed that book. And um, that one was the most surprising one to me. Like I knew I would like it. But I didn't know how much I would like it. He was very uh, open with that. And uh I, I just didn't think it'd be that great, but it really was. And the next one, um, Mick Foley, I mean, he has like four books, I know. So I'll just include all of them because I have read them all, even the TNA Countdown to Lockdown one. And the first wrestling book I ever read was uh, the Have a Nice Day one. And the fact that he wrote it by, 
by himself is even more impressive. And they've all been good. And that first one really inspired me. So I'll just say all the Foldy books. And the same goes for uh, the last person, the Jericho books. I, I've read uh, the first two. I haven't read the third one yet. And I really enjoyed them. Um, just some of the stuff in Mexico and like in Japan and coming up with like the Guerreros and the Benoits and Malencos and stuff like that and with Lance Storm breaking in in the Calgary and and then the whole WWF thing obviously and so there's there's some great books I know there's so many more out there and I have read a lot of the other ones but they didn't make my list due to certain reasons like I just made this list based on the ones I've read the most because obviously that uh, if you're gonna pick up a book again and then you know and most of these books when I read them I would finish them like the first night I would end up staying up all night because I couldn't put it down on just about all these books and just would read them I had to finish it I couldn't put it down and just walk away my brain wouldn't stop I had to know everything so those are my 10 favorite wrestling books there's so many more what are your favorite wrestling books out there or favorite what is your favorite book there's a lot of great ones and also if someone who's someone that didn't write a book that you wish they would I some of them weren't as great like I found some of them where they had like a writer with them I don't know some of these did but they just like skip so many things and it just seemed so not personal it just seemed like they just interviewed them for like two hours and then they wrote a book based on them so some of them is left off the list but who would you like to see write a book and who is your favorite that wrote a book remember like or you get a leg drop comment or you get a clothesline, subscribe, or you get a suplex, episode 108 of The Willow Show. I'm your host, Elian Habanero. I love wrestling. Cuba! <laughs>